it. Time to say goodbye to the Poon Kerry Hotel. Got a, still got fuel because we didn't end up doing the big loop. Um, it's been a warm room, very warm room overnight. Uh, we're now going to head to Broken Hill based on somebody's suggestion from last night, which I thought was a good suggestion because we'll spend an extra day there. Give my butt a rest. Welcome back guys. It's part three of our Christmas video and today it is New Year's Day. We would have got away a bit earlier, but we saw a couple of guys with jet skis in the middle of the outback, so we had to stop and ask them what they were doing. But anyway, let's get going. That is a big old rig, isn't it? All right, beautiful morning, very warm already. My gauge is reading 30 degrees, but it feels a bit warmer than that. We are heading to the old Poon Kerry Road, which somebody said was a little bit gnarly. It's going to be the old way to get from Poon Kerry to Menindee. Less sealed, less refined, perfect for the likes of us. And this is the Darling River which didn't flow at all for two years according to these guys you can see how high the banks used to be it's still not mega healthy but that by the way is the river the jet skiers were planning to ride all the way up and the dirt begins oh What is that? What is it? I feel like it would have... There it is! Oh! It's a feral cat! kilometers. Goodbye old Poonkari Road. Hello Tandu Road. So we've gone 130 kilometers, we've got another 50 to go. 55 to go. Lunchtime. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> hey! 
having suitably impressed the local kids, we still had time to go and look for the Menindee Lakes. It was a super hot day, so we were both very excited to go for a dip. Looks so blue. slow we're now taking this trail fucking hell how big is the road and how close do you want to ride next to me you lunatic So it's going to be easy for me to get back up. Am I going to be able to get back up? It's like bath water. the holiday should be absolutely no more bikes um just i mean we did we did get here with the bikes but we can be hilux holidays from now on no um riding on eggshells we could change to like driving hiluxes on eggshells um just kick the drs to the curb if that's what you're asking for i'll still have my electric bike from come february <laughs> Probably. I mean, I mean, obviously not, but knowing Australia is like. Oh, there is a. <laughs> Australian lake shark, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Crawls in through your dick hole yeah. and eats your balls. <laughs> <laughs> and then it just lives in your balls so you don't know you have any balls until you have sex one time and out come little fishes. It is actually, yeah. <laughs> it's a lesser known Australian lake slug. So, we always knew this moment was coming, but we've now got to get out of the lovely beach that we got ourselves into. Here we go. Not a good start. She's doing it the grunt method. Task successfully failed. I got up. Having whiled away the afternoon at the lake, we now had a couple of hours ride ahead of us to get us to Broken Hill, where we'd really treated ourselves. 
not only having a couple of nights to stay there, but somewhere with a mini bar. Cheers. Morning. 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 So we're in a bit of a rush. <laughs> it's 9 a.m. in Broken Hill, um, which I got really confused at this morning because apparently Broken Hill is on a different time zone to the rest of New South Wales. Um, some hold over from being linked to Adelaide by train rather than city. Anyway, so <laughs> we are heading to um, a mine to go and do a silver mine tour, uh, which is due to start in about half an hour. Nervous? No. It's so hot. My face is sweaty. <laughs> Thank God we came to the first one in the morning. So this is a silver mine, which for some reason sounds like I'm underwater. I think it might be time for a new camera when we get out of here. Tour done, on to the next thing. And we're heading to the town of Silverton where we're going to see the Mad Max Museum. I've not seen Mad Max, but I'm sure Harry can explain the important bits to me. Mad Max 2 Museum, specifically the second one. So this, this is a recreation of a scene with this guy in the interceptor and they've got Dog holding the, the um, string from the shotgun which is on the trigger which is trapping this guy in the back seat because that guy's I think already double crossed him once and so he doesn't trust him now. I don't think he trusts anybody. Um, Max? Yeah. Doesn't trust him? No. Doesn't? He's not happy with him? No, of course not, no. Could be like angry or something yeah I guess like like frustrated a bit, bit frustrated yeah. frustrated Max yeah I guess so <laughs> <laughs> let's go now the dust storm blowing in over there Hey! Look down there! Looks like our jet skiing friends have returned. A bit surprised to see them here as it is quite far from the Darling River. Did you fix your jet ski? <laughs> we left one of them. Y yeah. We left the other. Oh, we, we got it going, we did a bit, but then uh, but then that one that one over there died again, so we had to go and get it again. But that one made it, my one, the drinking one. Lovely. <laughs> well I hope to see you again. Yeah, I think. Fun. We won't miss you in that giant rig. Nah, that's it. As long as you don't get hit by it, you'll be fine. Yeah. The storm's coming on a bit now, but it looks pretty localised and it's only about 25 minutes back to Broken Hill from here. the road interesting yeah. interesting so interesting 
Get out! <laughs> no. <laughs> I think you should be fine in, on in a car. You're waiting like what they call the waiting depth will be up here. Um, it's just a question of how deep is it. I don't think very deep, but it is moving a bit, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, do we want to wait? Is it... I don't think I'm going to do that one. There's evidently lost a couple of cars here once before. Oh really? Yeah, we came up to it and see the logs and shit that were flying through. Yeah. So. Yeah, I don't want to do that one. Look at a torrent cutting the way through. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they seem quite crazy. I wouldn't be surprised if the next 15 minutes or so that like one of them comes back down and on a jet ski yeah <laughs> goes and finds a bit where he can get onto it that they tried to uh, launch the one working uh, way runner they've got a twig got caught under it so they can't get thrust to get back up and they've ended up way down the bank here <laughs> they're nuts absolutely nuts it's starting at That's the first time I've crossed the road on a jet ski. Yeah, I've never crossed the road before, so I'm happy with that. Picking up lots of things on this trip. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. 
Suddenly things have changed. Everybody's going now. I'm kind of nervy, but I'm also, I think. Oh, you guys on the box. Yeah. yeah. yeah right. They're making it look deeper by creating a pretty big bow wave, like a giant big splash. Yeah. It's the worst idea that we tuck in behind someone's car. Yeah, I might try that. Does that work with your council with that? Yeah. Oh, I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. That was awesome. Sure. I reckon you want me to do it. If you can, yeah, you can really feel it. Yeah, you can do it. Okay. Thank you. That's all right. Almost lost it on that one. That was a bit ropey. Oh. Ah, that's all right. Yeah, yeah. If I'd have gone through that without, that's um, that's awesome. Thank you so much for all your help with that. Yeah. Thank you very much. Finally free. I think we were there about three hours in the end and we didn't really get any rain. It was all a few miles up the road that had come down. That same rain then caused so many problems for the rest of our journey, which basically meant that we had to stick to tarmac for most of the next few days ride. But we still have time to get back to the hotel, get a shower, get changed, and go and watch the sunset. Or hopefully watch the sunset if nobody tries to kill us. Fuck! Little heart starter. That was a bit of a rude awakening for Harry and I. The one day that both of us don't wear all of our protective gear is when Harry almost gets swept up by a 17-year-old driving his mum's car. We even made the Broken Hill News with that clip. On the bright side, Harry is still with us and we are almost at the sunset. We're going to see some sculptures that they've done in rock. I try to explain it here, but that underwater sound has come back, so... Yeah. Oh yeah, we're in the Living Desert, which is right outside Broken Hill. You can see there... Like an eagle. And it's such a cultured place, it's only fitting that we bring some really cultured food to have for dinner. We're Hungry Jacks. Hungry Jacks. The extra chicken nugget. This one. Where do you want to sit? This 
sunset just going down. Such a romantic evening. recognizable and if you zoom in it says it is the original one the gate that guards, guards their compound which is pretty exciting isn't it the bus and the compounds in the film there's a compound in the film tell me about the compound it's where they had an oil derrick yeah and of course, because particularly because they seem to all run giant supercharged cars for some oil. reason. Need a lot of oil and a lot of fuel and these guys apparently are pulling it out of the ground. Oh, is that the concept? Very scarce on fuel, so the, everybody's after fuel. But for some reason they all run V8 cars. And as we know, V8 cars have eight... Vs. Which uses a lot of fuel. Yeah. As we know. As we know, yeah. And, um, that's bad. Especially in a post-apocalyptic world with not much fuel. That's right. You want, like, V3. I'd say two. Two, two is probably better, yeah. V-twin. Just a V. Just a single, singular V. Yeah. It's not really going to be a V if it's just one, though, is it? I don't know. That's a V twin. I don't. I don't. I don't know what the V is. <laughs> so the V is the like you have a piston one side and a piston the other side. It actually, has a V. Yeah. So because you can have an inline, like inline cylinders, but and the V will go like that side, and so they'll be pushing down on the crankshaft from different, slightly different angles, which I think gives you more smooth power or something like that. We don't have a V, do we? Because we've got. How many cylinders? One. One. So we have the V1. Nope. No, we've got a. So a V8 is actually four Vs. Four Vs, yes. With so eight, it's a V4. eight cylinders. V4, not a V8. Because there's four Vs. They've got the naming all wrong. <laughs> talk to them about that. No, but really they have, haven't they? Why would they call it a V if it's just, they mean half V8, half V8. It's eight cylinders in a V. In one V. So one V is eight. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> or is there four Vs? We are leaving now. <laughs>